Have you come to take the ship back? The ship? You still call it a ship? Where you going? No idea. Wanna come? Modern art! Out of the way, that's it. Oh, rhombus, I'm a little bit peckish. Get me some ants and honey, there's a good lad. Ooh. <laughs> Stop laughing, this is serious. Bit all I can't help it, can I, with you and your big old face? I can't go through with it. I... I will fight it. I will not change. Hello? Someone there? Hello? Who is that? I'm the doctor. Oh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> Dear me, no. You may be a doctor, but I am the Doctor. The original, you might say. You? How can it be you? Do I know you, sir? This is the South Pole. We're at the South Pole. Of course we are. Don't you know that? This is where it happened. Where what happened? This is it. The very first time that I, well, you, we regenerated. You're mid regeneration, aren't you? Your face, it's all over the place. But you're trying to hold it back. What do you know of regeneration? Are you a Time Lord? You know who I am. You must. <laughs> Have you come to take the ship back? The ship. You still call it a ship. Oh, dear. What have you done to it? Nothing. The windows. I don't remember That's this. Long side. I don't remember trying oh, not to change. Sure it's not back then. I mean, look at it. It seems to have expanded. Well, so those years are bigger on the inside. You try sucking your tummy in that long. Why are you trying not to regenerate? I have the courage and the right to live and die as myself. Too late. It started. A few minutes ago, you were weak as a kid, right? No. You're fine. We're in a state of grace, both of us. But it won't last long. We have a choice. Either we change and go on, or we die as we are. But if you... If you die here... If your future never happens, if you don't do the things that you are supposed to do, the consequences could be... No. Look at it! How extraordinary. Everything stopped. Why? Maybe it's us. Maybe it's something else. But somehow. Something has gone very wrong with time. Hello? Sorry. So sorry. I don't suppose either of you is a doctor. Need a lift, 
Why? Where are you going? No idea. Wanna come? First left, ninth right, and then third left. Bedroom corridor. Get yourself settled in properly. Yes. I'm sorry. I didn't let you in. To what I was doing. Going after Carvinista. What I was looking for. I shouldn't have shut you out. No, you shouldn't have. I was looking for... information about me. A life I never knew. I want to tell you everything. I'd like that. Did you say left or right? Come on, Scouse. Let Yorkshire show you the way. said this is a time machine and we're traveling backwards in time back to the first event the creation of the galaxy out of a huge inrush of hydrogen we're heading straight into the biggest explosion in history one thing we can do. And that's all. All? Hogwash. We found the data bank. Maybe we'll learn how to fly the machine. Emotions, Adric, that are causing pain. Sight interfering with the reception. Now, closer! The potion. The solution. Oh, my little friend, if only you were. <laughs> Try. 
transport of delight. <sighs> you have something to say? Well, I'll fight you! I won't let you harm the doctor! I won't! Oh, Sir Adric, I must see them. Go softly on. of the situation. We're already caught in the field of event one. It's pulling us in faster and faster. A sort of gravity. The time force. It's many orders of magnitude greater. But people escape from gravity all the time. What we need is some kind of rocket thrust. Oh, right, enormous thrust. But there must be some way the TARDIS can do that. But nothing's happening. The temperature's defeating the automatic controls. Doctor! You must go back. Smoke! Heat! A noise, a glittering, a neuropeptide. The brain's working. Neuropeptides? What's he talking about? The excitement's changing his biochemistry. It's only temporary, but perhaps he can help us. We must take him back. It's not safe. But the doctor's our only chance, unless we can find somewhere of getting the temperature down. A manual override, Nissa. I'll have to explain how to vent the thermo buffer. Listen very carefully. My concentration may go again at any moment. We're still in the TARDIS. There's no way across. No? OK. You're right. So what do we do? Time for a plan. Do you have a plan? Well, no. No plan, sorry. If you don't have a plan, we're dead. Yes, we are. So just tell me. Tell you what? Well, there's no point now. We're about to die. Just tell me who you are. You know who I am. No, I don't. I look at you every single day and I don't understand a thing about you. Why do I keep running into you? Doctor, you invited me. You said... Before that, I met you at the Dalek Asylum. There was a girl in a shipwreck and she died saving my life and she was you. She really wasn't. Victorian London, there was a governess who was really a barmaid and we fought the great intelligence together. She died and it was my fault and she was you. You're scaring me. What are you, eh? A trick? A trap? I don't know what you're talking about! <laughs> I don't, do you? I think I'm more scared of you right now than anything else on that TARDIS. You're just Clara, aren't you? I... Uh, <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh. Okay. I don't know what the hell this is about, but the hug is really nice. We're not gonna die here. This isn't real. It's a snarl. What? what does a wounded animal do? It tries to scare everyone away. We're close to the engine. The TARDIS is snarling at us, trying to frighten us off. We need to jump. You're insane. We'll cross a portal to the engine. How can you be so sure? Well, I can't. OK, then, well, that's watertight. Hey, now, Clara, I have piloted this ship for over 900 years. Trust me this one time, please. OK. <laughs> OK. As well as all the other times. Ready? Clara, now. The engine, it's already exploded. It must have been the collision with the salvage ship. We're not dead. She wrapped her hands around the force, froze it. So, so it's safe? Temporary fix. Eventually, this whole place will erupt. There's no way I can save her now. been there for me and taken care of me and now it's my turn and I don't know what to do. I think it, 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 it just...
My parchment, thank you. Uh, the rift in time, all the memories leaking out. I need to find the moment we crashed. I need to find... Says dirty for it, that big chap. Who'd you sell it to? Oh, Kai Achilles. Look, if you want to argue, why don't you take it out with him? He's on Foss Street. Big Villa. Come on, Missy. Thanks. What's he buy a big blue wooden box for? Modern art. Out of the way. That's it. Oh, Rhombus, I'm a little bit picky. Just get me some ants and honey. There's a good lad. Ooh, maybe a dormouse. What do you think? You call it modern art? I call it a blooming great waste of space. But we're going up in the world, my love. Lucius Dextrous himself has come to the house this afternoon. What with that and our Evelina about to be elevated? Oh, don't go on about it, Dad. If we'd moved to Rome, like I said, she could have been a Vestal Virgin. Someone mentioned Vestal Virgins? Quintus, don't be so rude. You apologize to the household gods. Get off. Apologize right now. The gods are always watching. Now you've made the heavens angry. Just say sorry. I tell you, Caecilius, that boy will come to no good. Sorry, household gods. So where were you last night? Down the Thermopolis, I bet. Cavorting with Etruscans and Christians and all sorts. How's your head, sunshine? How's your head? Why, Dad, give us a break. You want to smarten yourself up, Quintus, before Lucius Dextrous gets here. Look at your sister. She is giving us status. Oh, yeah, because it's all about Evelina. She has the gift. We're proud of your sister for once. Have you been consuming? Not this morning. Come on, sweetheart. Practice. It's hot today. The hypercost is on full blast. The mountain god must be happy. Breathe deeply. Remember what the sisterhood said. Oh, it hurts. Oh, my love, is it too hot? Sometimes in the smoke, I see the most terrible things. Like what? A face. A face of stone. It'll make sense. One day, Sister Sparina promised, the veil will be parted and you'll be a seer. It's so adorable. Are you in there? Yes, I have. No, it's not adorable. It's very, very serious. So, is this more shrink rate stuff? Are you tiny in there? No. I'm exactly the same size. It's merely the exterior dimensions that have changed. <laughs> Stop laughing. This is serious. Bit, oh, I can't help it, can I, with you and your big old face? How are you going to get out? Well, plainly, I can't. Something nearby is leeching all the external dimensions. Aliens. Possibly. Well, who am I kidding? Probably. Sensors are done, and I can't risk taking off with it in this state. Clara, I need you to pick up the TARDIS. Carefully. It should be possible. I've adjusted the relative gravity. You mean you made it lighter? Clara, it's always lighter. 
If the TARDIS were to land with its true weight, it would fracture the surface of the Earth. Yeah, maybe a story for another time. What now? I've managed to get a rough fix on the source of the dimensional leaching. It's roughly northwest. That way. Please don't do that. That's just wrong. Now, listen. You're going to need these. Oh, wow. This is an honor. Does this mean I'm you now? No, it does not. So don't get any ideas. Now, listen. Stick this in your ear. Can you hear me? Yeah. Ow! What just happened? Nanotech. I just hacked your optic nerve. What does that mean? I see what you see. Anything? Yes, I'm dizzy, but nothing useful. Never did tell me your name. No time to fraternize. Come on, get rid of him. I'm, um... I'm the doctor. Don't you dare. Dr. Oswald. <clears throat> you can call me Clara. <laughs> I'm Rigsy. So, uh, what are you a doctor of? Of lies. Well, I'm usually quite vague about that. I think I just picked the title because it makes me sound important. My Dr. Oswald, you are hilarious. Can we get back to work, do you think? What are you exactly? You don't smell like police, but that's some pretty cool gear you got there. You like a spy or something? <laughs> oh, he's a bright one. Hang on to him. Was that lot good you were? <laughs> <laughs> Nesting consciousness? Easy. You were useless in there. You'd be dead if it wasn't for me. Yes, I would. Thank you. Right, then. I'll be off. Unless, uh, I don't know, you could come with me. This box isn't just a London op, you know. It goes anywhere in the universe. Free of charge. Don't. He's an alien. He's, he's a thing. He's not invited. What do you think? You could stay here, fill your life with work and food and sleep, or you could go uh, anywhere. Is it always this dangerous? Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I've, um, I've got to go and find my mum, and someone's got to look after this stupid lamp. <laughs> OK. See you around. Let's go. Come on. Come on. By the way, did I mention it also travels in time? Thanks. Thanks for what? Exactly. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.